The ruling ZANU PF has ordered the struggling public transporter, Zupco, to avail 30 buses this Saturday to ferry thousands of party supporters who will attend the memorial service of the late Foreign Minister Sibusiso Moyo in Barangua, Midlands Province. Moyo died in January this year from COVID-19 related complications. He was replaced as foreign minister by Frederick Shava. President Emerson Nangagwa is among senior ZANU PF officials expected to attend the memorial service in Barangua, the late politician's rural home. In a letter to Midlands Provincial District Coordinator, PDC, Obiat Marange, the Midlands Provincial Minister, Larry Mavima, ordered Zupco to provide 30 buses for the Saturday memorial service. Please note that the Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution has confirmed the distribution of Zupco buses as follows. Barangwa 10, Zvishavane 3, Shirugwi 2, Chiramhanzu 2, Gweru 2, Kwekwa 9, Gakwa South 2, Mavima wrote in his memo to Marange. It is not clear in the memo how ZANU PF will foot the bill for hiring the buses. However, Mavima ordered Marange to liaise with senior Zupco officials to ensure the timely arrival and departure of the buses. Please note that all passengers will disembark at Masvingo Primary School for purposes of attending the national tree planting event by H. Nangagwa. ZANU PF District Coordinating Committee DCC chairpersons will coordinate with the local Zupco depots as before and will manage the shuttling of people to the venue, Mavima added. All buses are expected to be at Masbingo Primary School in the Mbayanahanda area by 8. 00 on 4 December 2021. Districts are encouraged to source additional transportation through the use of school buses and a roadworthy trucks. All participants to adhere to COVID-19 protocols and must have and wear their masks properly. COVID testing and vaccination services will also be available at the school. Further information regarding feeding of attendees will be made in due course. Early this week, Nangagwa put in place several measures to contain the spread of the Omicron COVID-19 variant, which included limiting the numbers of public gatherings and for people to comply with the World Health Organization, WHO, protocols of masking, social distancing, and sanitizing, 